Vice President Mike Pence encouraged governors to downplay new community spread of the coronavirus and attribute spikes to increases in testing, the New York Times reported on Monday. Pence urged the state leaders to take on the Trump administration's explanation for rises in cases that more testing has led to more positive cases during a phone call with governors Monday. This is according to an audio obtained by the Times. The newspaper notes, however, that the data show his explanation is misleading. Joining us now is Dr. Austin Obina. He's a medical doctor from Colorado, USA. Also joining us is Barbara Sten, entrepreneur from the UK. They both join us virtually. Thank you both for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. A pleasure to have you both here. Um, is it safe to say that, um, as it stands, America is at the top in terms of confirmed cases of COVID-19, um, with Brazil coming in second and Russia third? That would be correct. America has been uh, leading uh, in COVID-19 cases for a long time now. Yeah, and uh, I would say obviously these are the absolute numbers. But look at also the first million. Um, in a different angle, we would see that there are other small countries like Kuwait, Chile, United States coming fifth, and Sweden number and the UK falling closely behind. So it's actually quite shocking when you look at these smaller countries on how prominent they are in the coronavirus as well. All right, uh, let me come back to you, um, Dr. Obin. Now, is it uh, safe to say that, as it stands, uh, America is at the top in terms of confirmed cases of COVID-19 with Brazil coming in second and Russia third? That would be correct. And um, the U.S. has been leading for a while now, and uh, for a while we, we thought we were seeing decrease in our, in our incidence. Um, but uh, due to significant increase in testing, um, as well as the relaxing of, uh, of measures in many states and opening up of the economy in many states, we're beginning to see uh, an uptick again uh, in, in cases, especially places like California, Texas, and Florida. All right, um, let me come back to you, uh, Barbara. W would you uh, say, is, I mean, is it safe to say that these countries were seeing an established fall out of community spread? Uh, we haven't uh, even registered the anticipated fallout of the global protests. Well, obviously, depending on the country, some yes and some no, yeah. All right, um, we will go back to Dr. Obin and uh, put this question uh, to you. Um, what is responsible for uh, all of this, in your opinion? Well, in the United States, I think um, the opening up of, uh, of the economy, um, uh, you know, uh, the restrictions definitely has led to increased community spread. But as well as increased testing, you would notice that even though the number of uh, COVID-19 cases in the U.S. remains uh, basically constant and going up, the mortality rate appears to be falling significantly. And I think that part of that is because due to increased testing, we're beginning to find a lot of um, uh, cases, symptomatic uh, cases, and a lot of uh, with very mild disease. Um, uh, the initial onset of, of this problem, uh, we concentrated on, on testing people who were symptomatic. But in the U.S. right now, anybody who wants to be tested uh, can get tested. Like in Colorado, you simply have to uh, register online and you can go to the center to get tested, and this was not the case before. Uh, what of those who say that uh, a lack of transparency and this possible denial has led to the spread of um, cases we're seeing now? Yes, I mean, I think so, for sure. 
think, um, first of all, there's been a lack of preparation, I think, from the Western world in general, if, with the exception of maybe of Asia. Um, maybe a little bit of arrogance as well in terms that people feel a bit untouchable um, for, you know, of, of this virus is coming from other continents, um, especially when we haven't seen anything for many, many generations. So there's definitely, um, I think, a denial and um, and also some definitely, um, you know, um, experience, let's say, of uh, leadership, lack of experience from that perspective. You see uh, Brazil and uh, the US where there has been some reluctance in accepting um, the virus and uh, sending mixed messages uh, particularly Bolsonaro and Trump of wearing masks, of not wearing masks. So this has been, I think, a very confusing messages overall. Um, well, what, what's your take on how uh, countries can navigate the challenges of reopening with the clear cases uh, that is being recorded? I'll stay with you, Barbara. Um, well, I think that's actually um, a really good question. I find that... Um, uh, there's, you know, there's no, we're not prepared yet. Um, I was looking and reading and uh, I saw that um, the mayor of South Korea actually said, uh, shake off the fantasy to go back to a past where we are accustomed. So I think that that kind of gives us a bit of a uh, a shake-up where I think people still do not absorb. Um, here it's the start here in the UK of the summer and uh, I think when schools reopen in September and then the winter comes I think people start realizing that this is not gone. And, um, and so I think that we will need definitely leadership from the government but that's not enough. As the doctor said we need and also previously in your interview we need for uh, the citizens to be participating, businesses, and uh, definitely have a lot of collaboration so that um, the countries can um, go forward and combat coronavirus. All right, sure. now, well, Austin, you, your take on this, are we to look to head immunity uh, where we are already seeing cases in the community and even uh, a suspected um, second wave? Well, to have herd immunity about 60 percent uh, infection rate in the community. And that's, that's going to be catastrophic for that. Uh, in, in some places, especially say New York, uh, the tests actually show about a 15% infection rate. So I think uh, you have to, um, we're gonna depend on personal responsibility, wearing masks, social distancing, um, Colorado in the U.S. is one of the places that is seeing some success in the citizens uh, kind of doing what they're uh, to do by the health officials. And, uh, and so in Colorado, for instance, we've seen significant improvement in, in the population. I think this is because the citizens decided to take personal responsibility and do the right things. And, and so eventually, I think that's what's going to happen. It, it's not lockdown economies indefinitely and so um, people are going to have to go out to make a living but in doing that they have to uh, do the things that need to be done to, to be safe you know to, to wear right. masks social distance to hand sanitize to wash their hands and and to do all the proper things and then the elderly and vulnerable will still need to be, uh, try to stay away public. Um, uh, uh, all right, uh, Dr. Austin Obina, I'm afraid that's the much we can take. Thank you very much uh, for your submission on the news tonight. Thank you very much. And of course, Barbara Stein, thank you so much for your time and your input as well. Thank you very much.